do this. Alright, hi guys and uh, welcome to another episode of Creepypasta Stories and Info. Um, now before I start, let's. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that you should probably go and punch that subscribe button. Like, right now. Let's do it. It suddenly got fucking bright. On that, this, this... <laughs> My life, guys. My life. Um, so, don't forget to punch that subscribe button in the face. And, uh, you know, we'll get right on into Slender Man Part 2. Now, um, like, in a couple of seconds. I mean, now, I haven't done a Creepypasta series and info for a while. And, uh, I haven't done Slender Man. I said I was going to do Slender Man, but I kind of lost track of time. And I had to do something quick. That I could just get off the wiki. That I could get on the wiki and talk about that. And I ended up doing um, the Russian sleep experiment. Which was actually kind of creepy. And that's saying something because I'm me. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. I will talk to you in a couple of seconds, guys. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Um, have fun. Slenderman, <clears throat> sorry, Slenderman has no exactly defined or specified history. However, contributors have placed early sightings of Slenderman-like beings in early 1600s Germany and before, where it took the dress of a knight or royal figure. Germanic fairy tales and mythology also make use of the creature to be used as cautionary tales for children. Photographs, sorry, photographs from the early 1900s were the next confirmed report where imagery of Slenderman can be found in classical black and white and sepia imagery. Reports from this time indicate sightings in America, the UK and Russia, as well as reports of child disappearances. By the mid-1900s, some rare run-ins occurred in the war zones in Germany, apparently Slenderman's native land. Soldiers were the primary targets here. In America and Canada, reports of missing scares and children appeared, coming from forested areas of the nations. After a spray of building burnings from unknown causes, several deaths and a few surviving witnesses, it could be gathered that, Slend that the Slenderman had the, had the following traits. Slenderman will find interest in a victim for un reasons unknown. It will then contact the victim, if it is a child, presenting itself as friendly. The adults he stalks have common traits. They have all been through a terrible tragedy in their life, even if the tragedy was made by Slenderman directly. If an adult, if an adult, it would stalk the victim for long amounts of time, causing what is known as slender sickness, causing massive paranoia, nosebleeds, nightmares, hallucinations only appearing to appearing to only the sick person, and other dangerous symptoms. Eventually, it would abduct the victim into into nearby forest, where they would be killed. In messy cases. It may remove evidence of its existence by causing fire of their home, place of work, or school. Death of the victim originally occurred through an odd means. The victim would be impaled on branches of very tall trees while still alive and bleed to death. The organs would be individually removed, then placed in plastic bags. They would then be placed into the body in their original positions, plus the plastic bags. The victim's corpses do not show any sign of a struggle. As time has gone on, the practice has seemingly been abandoned. In the late 1990s, technology shed more light on the creature through the use of commonplace cameras and camcorders. Slenderman was recorded and photographed, stalking potential victims many times. In the late 200s to early 2010s, several individuals recorded ongoing stalking and attack scenarios of themselves and their friends. These videos, uh, these video accounts are co codenamed Marble Hornets, Everyman Hybrid, Dark Harvest 00, ML Anderson 0, and Tribe 12, as well as certain Riven videos. The new foray into Slenderman's powers, abilities, and attacks have shown drastic difference from his original behaviours. The original desire to impale targets on trees, his rather aggressive attitude in attacking mainly children, have been altered. It appears he seems to enjoy targeting humans, but I've seen him in childhood and following them for years. 
He appears to do so in such a way that the target is unaware of his presence for potentially months, years, or even decades, and typically won't be aware at any point in time. And typically won't be aware at any point in time until it is far too late. His behaviour is extremely passive-aggressive, where he stalks, follows, and torments an individual by repeatedly showing his presence. He will typically do so in invasive ways, such as appearing inside someone's house, outside their home, on roads they travel, at their place of work when they are alone, or while the target is sleeping. This will create a general unease of the target, as the invasion of an entity in their own safety zone will begin sparking incredible paranoia. Most often he won't attack the target for extended periods, instead just following the target and tormenting them. This period can last anywhere from several minutes to years. The behaviour of taking organs out or impaling targets have long been forgotten. If his new modus operandi is to be believed, the target is taken away with no traces whatsoever. The target will never be found, nor are any traces, thus his new method of curing targets is unknown, as no victim is ever found. The victim will, tepi will typically disappear by him slash herself, thus these attacks are unrecorded and unknown. What little camera footage has been found shows incredible distortion on them in typical cases, making it nearly impossible to understand exactly what he has done. Today, it is unknown where his victims go, or what he does with them after this. One of the most powerful new traits Slenderman will typically employ seems to be some form of inhibiting memory loss. Like Slender Sickness, this effect can be nearly immediate, just on close contact with him. Although it seems to vary as to exactly how powerful. In some cases, individuals will forget the past few minutes. However, extended contact has led people to awakening in locations that are uncertain of due to running from Slenderman and their brain beginning to write me memory and restore consciousness after a given period of time. In some cases, it is believed Slenderman himself will deposit a victim in an unknown location and leave them to awaken after an attack, possibly to continue stalking them some more. This effect is akin to Slender Sickness, but is the most powerful effect of the sickness to date. Victims of extended periods will note excessive damage to their social, physical and career life. Typically individuals will show massive mood swings and constant irritation, not to mention will lose track of large periods of time, making communication with friends or holding down steady work difficult, as memory losses could be as long as several weeks or months until the individual awakens and attempts to return to their life, only to find it ruined. Despite this, Slenderman will continue his behaviour. Slenderman makes association with several groups, individuals or creatures. The least known of these is the unknown organisation tracking, observing and invo or involved with Slenderman, whose identity or name is yet to be confirmed. The organisation appears only in early Slenderman written accounts and makes an assumed appearance in only one ARG. Dark Harvest Double Zero. The SCP Foundation, though mostly unrelated, maintains hold of a creature known as SCP-582, aka Bundle, whose appearance and nature is similar to Slenderman. It is possible that Bundle is a local dialect or local version of Slenderman. SCP is unable to currently permanently contain Bundle, indicating that because it is not stationary, it could be the same entity as Slenderman. Or at the very least, Slender Bundle could be acting out a story and thus recognised as Slenderman. It is to note, however, that said entity is also very different from Slenderman. Slenderman has links to many proxies, or insane individuals under its control or influence. The nature of proxies, their workings, etc. are yet unknown. However, proxies make, an, make appearance, appearances in Marble Hornets as Marsky slash to the arc. Oh, as as Marsky slash to the arc, every man hybrid as habit, and tribe twelve as observer. Slenderman has also spawned many philosophical and theoretical cults made up of uninfluenced but aware individuals, such as Dark Harvest Double Zero. The rake is the name given to another mystery creature that has that is somehow linked or associated with Slenderman. 
The rake has a far shorter history, and only real appearance and of association with Slenderman or a proxy is through the video accounts of Everyman Hybrid. So, thanks for watching, guys. You've been a wonderful audience. Um, don't forget to, you know, punch that subscribe button right in its fat face. And, uh, I, I really hope you enjoyed, because I enjoyed making this video. Um, there's not much more I can say about Slender Man, apart from the fact that he is creepy as all the hell. He is really tall. And, uh, these, these images I'm flicking through right now seem to be pretty, you know, flipping weird. I mean, I mean, it doesn't look like, uh, some of them are fake. You can tell because it's from the game itself. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this slideshow and also, um, you know, a rating would be nice. And also, if you want to see something, just leave a request for a creepy pasta I should or should not do. It'd be really nice of you to do that. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Uh, this is Nova Parrot, signing off.